opinions, scores, pictures, and more. Just follow us on Twitter at Redskin Radio. Follow the Loudon Redskins all season long right here on 96.1 WLNT, Magic 104.1, and RedskinRadio.com. Back at Loudon High School where the Loudon Lady Redskins are hosting the Meigs County Lady Tigers. And the scoring by quarter in the first quarter, Meigs County had 25, Loudon with 8. In the second quarter, Meigs County had 21, and Loudon was 7. For the individual scoring, there's been a variety of players for Meigs County Lady Tigers, led by number 10, J.C. Powell. She has 14. Number 4, Jason Stone has 8. 33, Brianna Bales with 6. Number 2, Krista Krager with 6. Number 1, Anna Crowder has 5. Number 15, Ansley Wade has 5. And number 25, Ella Crowder has 2. For the Loudon Lady Redskins, they're led by number 12, Carrie Pittman, 8. Then number 10, Molly Russell has 4. And number 5, Summer Parnell with 3. The big difference coming from that pressure, once Meigs County turned it on, Loudon Lady Redskins has 23 total turnovers. And the uh, Lady Tigers have been able to convert that to 29 points. Lady Redskins shooting 60% from 3 and 50% from the 2. So these Lady Redskins will be making some adjustments on their press break coming out into the second half. Before we get into the second half, we're joined by Redskin Radio's very own principal, Mr. Marvin Fiesel. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Fiesel. Wiley, it is great to be here, buddy. Well, tell us a little bit about what's going on in the world of Philadelphia Elementary School. Well, you know, the chipper over there was once a warrior himself, and uh, Always proud to have our alumni back on campus and involved. And we are starting Warrior Nation News. That'll be cranking up here in the next week. Uh, students at Philadelphia are going to be doing a broadcast that Chip's going to be running on WLNT 96.1. And, uh, and I'm not sure if we're running it on some of the other ones, too. I believe that one will be on WLNT only. WLNT. Thursdays it, at uh, 5 o'clock is, is the projected time. Well, there you go. I've got uh, a young lady, Miley Davis, and a young man, Mr. Caleb Allman, and they're going to be produced by Mr. Mason Rossi Dupas uh, of Jen Rossi, the trainer fame. He is a warrior with us now, and uh, we're going to be running that every week, letting folks know what's going on at the school, because let me tell you, we got about 20 irons in the fire every day and so those kids are going to keep up with that and put it out in radio land for us. Well that's great and tonight I know that you've got some uh, activities going on um, elsewhere. Yeah we got uh, our boys team is playing in the SMAC tournament the Smoky Mountain Athletic Conference so hopefully we're laying the SMAC down on Ruralville as I speak. Let's hope so. And then Thursday night if the boys win they'll be back in action and our girls will be in action as well and that's all happening over at Madisonville Middle. Okay very good and then uh, also as spring is coming up lots of spring sports including here at Loudon High School where the Los Indios will take the pitch and uh, you'll be bringing us action from that. Oh did you do your homework while you, uh, said, you know you said I'm there. Pitch. There's I, no field in soccer. That's right pitch. I got that one right. Maybe we'll do a special about where that term came from, from the old cricket days. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm always proud to support soccer. Um, honestly, never played it. Uh, the couple of times I did play it was not pretty. It was in an adult league, and uh, we got beat pretty bad. But my boys are pretty good at it, and I love that team. Well, and you're pretty good at talking it, too. So if, if anybody's ever went back and watched the videos online, Marvin knows all the lingo, and I, I, there's no way I could ever touch any of that. I mean, all I can do is turn the camera on and say go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, the last time I got to travel internationally, uh, I wasn't looking for a museum. I was looking for a soccer stadium to tour. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a little football over uh, on Duke's Field. And uh, as Chip said, we got lots of videos from last year. Um, so videos of the games with commentary uh, on video on demand on redskinradio.com. Uh, 
Tom. And uh, we'll be doing that again this year. Uh, Los Indios are looking to make their third consecutive run to the state tournament in Murfreesboro. Two years ago, we uh, were runners up in the state. Uh, last year, we made it to uh, the final eight in the state of Tennessee. Uh, we're looking again to, to make another run. It'd be three times in a row as district and region champs if we can pull it off and looking for that third run to the state tournament. And lots of, there's just some great kids on that team. Um, and not including mine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they've been they've been uh, conditioning this week, and the boys come home frozen. I think uh, I think they take about a two hour hot shower. We don't have hot water at Fizo House for a while because <laughs> out there running in that twenty seven right. degree weather. But it's okay to make them tougher. Oh yes, well that's fantastic. I, I know I always look forward to uh, to watching your videos, so we'll look forward to that um, on Redskin Radio. Now at uh, Philadelphia Elementary School, outside of sports, is there anything else coming up? in the spring uh, spring semester for you all? Well, uh, February the 6th, we got our next set of um, parent conferences, and, you know, we've been recognized by the state for the way we do that, trying to involve parents and helping them learn how to help their kids at home. Uh, we're in our second year out of three in a grant, actually, for doing that. Uh, we just got another grant from the state for expanding our robotics and STEM program. We're about to go into our first robotics competition. Uh, so the Philly Robo STEM team, sponsored by Denzo, um, and also the Teleco Village Kiwanis Club, who helps us with our equipment. Um, and, of course, uh, volleyball tryouts are coming up. We just refinished our old gym. We've got two beautiful gym floors, two volleyball courts. So our Philly and Fort Loudon kids will be coming together for Warrior Volleyball. Uh, baseball will be cranking up. That's another one where uh, Fort Loudon and Philly kids come down to Philly and we play on the lush grass of Curtis Field. And uh, gosh, there's just so many things going on. I've got so many hardworking people down there that give more than they could ever be asked to give. And uh, kids like little Miss Ava Lee Brakeball are benefiting from it every single day. <laughs> she keeps you busy in there from the uh, discipline patrol. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to be joined by you, Mr. Fiesel. And of course, if anybody needs more information on Philadelphia Elementary School, well, our Facebook page, uh, Philadelphia Elementary School, has always got something new on there. Call us at the school, 458-6801. But you know what? We love it for people to stop by and visit. And uh, now, while I got a question for you, uh, I know you're a legendary history teacher oh, here no, at the school. on the spot. Now, who was your history teacher in high school? My history teacher was a legendary <laughs> Mr. Marvin Fiesel is who that was. And I, my advice to you is do everything exactly the opposite the same. of what you learned. The same. <laughs> All I know is my my favorite all time favorite still going Viking. So <laughs> here we go. Well, I guess what was the old song? Tremble at my big bad sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Beasley, it is always a pleasure, and uh, we look forward to everything that's going to come out of Philadelphia Elementary School in this semester, and out uh, on the soccer pitch and everywhere else. So we look forward to seeing you out and about. Absolutely, we're going to go make some more great Redskins. There we go. All right, as always. 